All right, how we doing, folks? It's Bull Marcus 182 5 numbers after the name. Little tight Tuesday action, man, here, right here, man. Yo, close game plays come down a limit to, to the wire, to the wall, to whatever else Kanye says in that song. Little BRM action we got over here, little LMG. Okay, I see you, I see you. Low scoring gameplay, though. That's, that's what we're bringing over here. Some of that non exciting ish that we bring over here. This is honestly probably, I, I, I'm sure there's other people. I honestly don't watch too many other Call of Duty uh, uh, channels. Like, I, I, I really don't watch. I think about it, I really don't watch any channels of pe people that play games that I do. You know, I watch uh, a lot of people play like Mario Maker because um, I don't have a Wii U. I don't really plan on buying one. Hopefully, the NX is a back back compat at least with some games, so I can get cop one of those. Because um, I do want to get my hands on Mario Maker, but I don't really uh, I don't really watch people play games that I play for the most part. I I kind of just play them. Uh, in the terms of XCOM, like a video I was talking about yesterday, a little bit. Sometimes I will buy a game because someone I'm watching it. Someone like on a Let's Play, and I really want to play. But even though XCOM is kind of the only time I've ever done that. Um, at least consciously, you know, where I actually thought, like, pieced it together. I'm like, well, you know what? Because of this, I'll do this. Um, subconsciously, maybe. You know, maybe I, I played a Fire Emblem recently because I saw someone playing X time. You know, I don't know. That kind of stuff could all add up over there. This guy's trying to play me. I'm like, listen, man, I can't really bust in here because i got this BRM going over here. And, yep. 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 Corner pocket. By the way, I heard they patched up anti up. Now it's gonna be a buck fifty off of the, the kill streak. I really appreciate that, man. As a as a fellow anti up user, uh, I, I kind of have fallen off from using it a little bit. I'm I'm now using scavenger uh, in that second slot, but I will still have to use anti up. And now that they flipped that, I, I honestly can see myself kind of using maybe even doubling up over there on scavenger and anti up. And just leaving uh, six cents on the first one and taking off over. I don't know. You know, there's plenty of variations. In all fairness, I, I still have tr tr troubles like pick a ten of the damn things to use. Uh, it's crazy. Um, and in this case, I'm using the uh, I'm using uh, my girl over here with the uh, how's this damn thing called, man? That makes you get the streaks quicker. Uh, I can't remember it right now. I'm blacked out. The Seraph chick, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm using that. Uh, it's probably so far been my go-to. I they actually I heard that they reduced the, the the Reaper now like 20 bullets off it. I think it's now just down to even 100. I'm still probably gonna use that. I still think it might be my top one. I, I just actually unlocked them again in this last Prestige um, yesterday, so I haven't had an opportunity to use them. But a combat focus is the what I was looking for. Anyway, no has anything to do with low scoring gameplay. We came over here to talk about. I've been noticing this trend recently. At least in a lot of games that I've been playing. Um, even even on small maps, like I played a map of like a match on combine the other day, and it was crazy. We didn't reach the score limit, but only that we were like in the low sevens. I was like, what is going on? Like, I, I, I still kill the same amount of people. I still I, I feel like I still kind of do my thing. Like it doesn't really interfere necessarily with my gameplay of the map. But you'll go and look at the score, and all of a sudden you're like. You know, there's barely like any kills going on. You're like, what the hell? Uh, in this game that I was speaking to in, in combine, and I think we'll end up seeing in this guy, I think I crack like 45 kills or something like that. And then like an ex-closest guy is like 10. Uh, I don't know if that actually is this game, but the combine game, I was at like 50-something kills, the next closest guy on my team had like 10. The opposite team, there was one guy who had like 30, and the rest had 10. And I was kind of like, what's going on? And you, you kind of just go through a bunch of empty space, especially on these small maps where you don't expect to have, like, we're kind of all on top of each other like we are right now. I mean, look, at four of us right here in the same exact spot, our own team. So to not run into somebody or when you're mad, like, combine or hunted, to not run into someone, it's, it's a little bit strange. But it's just something I've noticed that some people just don't, they don't, not only do they not play, like, aggressive, but and it's not necessarily even playing aggressive. It's just uh, they kind of... Uh, they kind of just go around the map, you know, they're, they're ultra conservative in the sense that they just don't want to die, which I find to be great. Uh, I, obviously, you want that close, fast gameplay. You only want to go on Nuketown and just go crazy. But I completely respect uh, anybody who will take the sweet time and go all the way around the map for a flank. I'll do it on occasion. Uh, I still, I feel like I still do. Uh, but in all fairness, I have had a lot of times where... When I actually go and look at one of like my videos for a second, or when I actually go and think about, hey, you know, how did I play that? Or I'll look at somebody in theater mode and be like, well, how did that happen? I'm like, well, what do you mean how that happened? You were in the middle of the map like a bozo. Like, yeah, that's how that happened. Like, how else is it going to happen? More, I, I oftentimes catch myself that I feel like I'm flanking all the time, but in reality, I am just simply I'm going right down the middle, just a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. And 
you you want to in this game gives you really the ultimate freedom to wall run around, you know, and and, and to get from point A to point B in ways that you can't expect, you know. Uh, for example, on Hunted right here, I always go bottom bridge. I very rarely do you ever, ever, ever see me on the bridge unless I'm going ultra conserv or ultra aggressive. Or I'm picking up tags like I am right now. And even then, oftentimes I'll just dip out, which is what I did right now. Just to sign that that wasn't really a good one. I was still pretty high. I wasn't really too low. And I'm using an LMG here too. So I'm kind of like, if there is a game where I should be way back, um, it's this kind of game. I normally gauge slow games about halfway through the game. So right now, if we look at this, we're a little bit past halfway, right? We're like four and change. And we're 36-36. At this point, I'm realizing, okay, the, we, we ha I got to be really careful with what I'm going to do here. Because I, there aren't going to be that many tags out for, to get. There just aren't, period. It's not, it's just not, it's not something that's going to happen in this game. We're not going to have the ability to get as many tags as we want. This guy's just getting tags in front of me. I'm like, listen, man. Listen. He's like, you don't understand what's going on. I got these low streaks as well. Um, which kind of help as well. When, when you get in the lobby where maybe there aren't that big kill streaks or whatever. Maybe the biggest kill streak you'll run into is like a house one, for example. Well, guess what? It's going to be a low score on lobby. People just aren't putting up the numbers that they would in other lobbies. Um, you either got people going all the way around. You got people that aren't moving. You know, campus, for example. I, I, when I was playing that match in combat I spoke about, part of the issue that I had was people would spawn in like the back of like that rock area, you know, and, and they just wouldn't leave the area. They were just camping around the rocks. And you'd have to go and get them. And hey, if you go and look at it, it takes time from get from point A to point B, and to then try to flush people out. And guess what? Sometimes it's just not going to be successful. Period. They're just going to get you. So it, 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 there's a little intricacies when it comes to that. But you have to adapt to it. You know, I, I had to change how I played. So what I realized they were kind of doing that. What I did was flank all the way around. So on like the side of the combat, for example, where you can wall run. I wall ran around, I went the whole long way around, and then I was even behind them. The people that were like camping behind that didn't want anyone to get behind them. Somehow you will always find a way to get behind those people, especially in this game, where you could jump around and have that flexibility in terms of wall run not run not. The other thing I want to stress is in a game like Kill Confirmed, for example, or any objective game when you realize that the kills are gonna be that low, uh, that low of an affair, you gotta get those tags, man. So in this game, when it's kill confirmed, like you gotta go out there and get those tags. Uh, no if ands or buts about it. So I, I make um, I make a conservative effort that if I kill somebody, I'm gonna get that tag because and, and you know I'll pick up a uh, I'll get the denies as well because they all seem to be maximized. You know, it, it, to make like a basketball analogy, for example, it, it's the same thing as uh, you know uh, the game's really tight, the whole game, low scoring game, going to the fourth quarter, it's high like 70-70. Well, guess what? Every shot's going to count more. Every rebound's going to count more. Every steal's going to count more. Every time you dive on the ground is going to count more. You know, you want to try to tilt the balance in your favor as much as possible uh, to try to just get over there. That, 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 ooh, I got stuck in here. Ooh, that kind of hurt over there. And check it out with the headshots, man. This dude over here with the damn little sword. I'm like, listen, man, this ain't cool, B. Actually, that's one of the few weapons that I actually got from a supply drop. I didn't even know what it was. It was got, it's got a strange name. I forgot what the hell the name of it is. A Fury's something wind something like that and i was like what the hell is this thing i was like come on give me the damn mp40 equivalent man that's the one i want i don't really care about all the other ones maybe the, i'll take the um, i'll take the uh uh the uh, the assault rifle as well i'd be interested over there so just for low scoring games make sure especially if you get a game kill the plan to give if you play the game if you're playing a game of kill confirm get the tags not only yours but also the knives you want to control as much of this as possible play safe play smarter you know, take a step back because guess what? They're playing smarter. Uh, the reason why it's a low-scoring game because your opposition is playing smarter. Nah, you can call them being pussies. You know, you can, it, it, believe me. I, the things I hear online from people that play smart, a dime a dozen. You can call them whatever the hell you want. You can spit whatever hate you want at them. But at the end of the day, if they only die like five times and they win the game, that's the strategy. That's the way they want to do it. Hey, man, you can't hold that against them. That's, that's whatever you got to do. I always felt that to me. I never really hate on what other people do. I just try to adapt and change either what I'm doing to match up uh, what they're doing or to try, try to beat what they're doing. Uh, so I've never really been much to ultimately complain about how people play. Uh, let me give you an example. One of the things I really dislike in this game is the uh, Brecci or the Brecci or the Breachy or the Breezy uh, with the like, rapid fire that goes crazy. Listen, man, uh, I actually put up a video a couple weeks ago of uh, probably one of my toughest games I ever played in this uh, of somebody that was using that. I, I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't do anything about that in the patch. They actually made shotguns strong. They made shotguns LMG stronger. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, I don't really. 
To each their own. I'm, I'm still going to just keep using my Kudan. I'm alright with it. And maybe I'll experiment with some other weapons here or there. But Kudan Man of War is still doing it for me. And until it stops doing it, I'll keep using that. But I, I adapted, you know. And check this man. 46 and 18 and 12, 16, 15. Oh, my. Ooh, woo. Rough lobby. Uh, but either way, you gotta have to like adapt a little bit of that. Just how people play and just what people do. And ultimately the goal is to win. And no matter if you do it exactly how you were playing on do it or how they kind of forced you to do it, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes you're gonna play your game, sometimes you're gonna play their game. The end result that you wanna have is this one right here where you're the winner circle. Hey baby, you're on top and you get to do a little dance. Your boy Markles, man, tight Tuesday, deuces.